Alright, so uh, yeah, thanks for the question. Alright, so this is a type of uh, COE and a DC circuit type of physics question. Uh, Alright, so it's a bit complicated, but I think we can uh, analyze it together. Alright, so we are given a graph which is shown on your question paper. Right? It's a resistance against temperature graph. Okay, and the yeah, and that's for the thermistor. Okay, so remember thermistor uh, when the temperature increases, uh, the resistance will decrease okay so yeah so thermistor is also used in many types of circuit especially those like a uh, smoke alarm all right so if there's a like a smoke all right so what happen is that the thermistor will get heated up all right and the resistance will decrease and current can flow it and more cu current flow through it right uh, then it will sound the alarm okay that's how it works for the thermistor all right okay so uh yeah so uh, they say that the light bulb is not connected, so I don't draw the light bulb first, right? I just draw the voltmeter, okay, which is connected across this resistor, right? And they say that hey, the resistance, I mean the volt, the voltage across this, uh, resistor is about three point five volts, okay. So they ask us, hey, what is the, uh, resistance of this resistor? Okay, so first of all, right, so this is a type of series circuit. Okay, we don't care the voltmeter because the voltmeter is uh, it's just a, like an instrument to measure what is the potential difference or the voltage across here. Okay, so now we our main focus is on the purple resistor and the blue color thermistor. Okay, so they say that hey, the voltage is 3.5. Okay, and since it's connected in circuit, right. This is 2.5 volts. Okay, because the total voltage uh, of the battery is 6 volts. Alright, so if this 6 volts uh, give the resistor 3.5 volts, so what is left is just 2.5 volts. Uh, it must give everything away. I uh, cannot have anything left. Uh. Alright, so basically that's how uh, that's for the potential difference part. Okay. Okay, so now if you break the graph. Uh, Okay, at 25 degrees Celsius, okay, our resistance of the thermistor, okay, the resistance of the thermistor here is about 100 ohms. Okay, can? Alright. So, uh, okay, so let's go back to the basic equation of COE. Okay, so I, I believe you have learned COE in school. Uh, Alright, and this is our uh, equation that we learned, right? I go to V over I. Uh, so I know that R is directly proportional to your V, right? Or voltage or potential difference. Okay. So if your V is high, means that your resistance is high also. Alright. If your V is low, means your resistance is low. Okay. Uh, so you compare your thermistor and your uh, purple color resistor. Uh, which one has a higher resistance? By just looking at the voltage, uh, just looking at the potential difference across uh, each of them. Okay, so the thermistor is about 2.5 volts. The resistor is about 3.5 volts. So I can, I can say for sure uh, that my purple color resistor has a higher resistance. Okay, because of your, because 3.5 is bigger than your 2.5 volts, right? Okay. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, so let us solve the equation. Okay, so for this, we just use the 100, okay, because 100 ohms right, is for the thermistor, divide by 2.5 volts times your 3.5. Okay, so you get about 140 uh, ohms. Okay, so this 140 ohms is for your resistor. Okay, yeah, so yeah, you did it correctly. Okay, so for B, uh, B we are re okay so now B uh, we want to find what is the voltmeter reading okay when there's a light bulb connected right? okay connected to here okay and there's a light bulb okay I close the switch right? okay and the light bulb has a uh, has this thing right 3.5 volt 0 0.1 ampere okay so whenever you see uh voltage uh and current right the first thing you must think of is your I go to V over I okay so you want to find your resistance of your light bulb okay so let me withdraw the circuit again all right so 
six volts right? okay then we have a resistor all right i redraw the circuit so that it's easier to see yeah uh. here's a light bulb okay and right and this is the thermistor okay then just connect complete the circuit okay so there's no difference uh, between this circuit uh, if i connect my voltmeter here and your uh, circuit original circuit here uh, there's no difference basically it's the same thing just that my voltmeter is now here okay why is it the same because very simple all right no matter where i connect uh, the potential difference across the orange color resistor here right uh, and the light bulb here is the same okay so let's just say uh, here is two volts here is also two volts okay so your voltmeter will register two volts okay yeah because parallel uh, remember a parallel circuit parallel circuit uh, your potential diff your voltage is always the same one okay okay so first of all this is 140 ohms okay so we are still at uh, 25 degrees celsius right so this 100 ohms okay so i want to find the resistance of the light bulb okay so the we are given the so-called value right all right so volt divided by current so this 3.5 this is 0 0.1 okay you'll get a resistance of 35 ohms all right okay so now i know the resistance of the light bulb what should i do next very simple okay so i know the this is 140 ohms this is 100 ohms this is 35 ohms so my next step uh, is to find the current total current that is flowing through this circuit okay which means that i need to find the total resistance of the circuit all right okay so maybe let us start with this parallel circuit first okay so this parallel right okay so this 35 ohms right so okay so now i find what is the total resistance across a parallel circuit uh, only uh. so i just maybe from here okay only here okay only this part okay so one over r okay to, uh, yeah maybe i just put a total uh, equal to 1 over 140 plus 1 over 35 okay so you will get about let's complete okay you'll get about 1 over 28 all right ah so remember to flip because this is parallel so it's uh there's one more step to do okay so okay 28 ohms so the total resistance of your resistor here and your light bulb is 28 ohms okay so let us withdraw this circuit okay so 28 ohms huh? so i just combine both of them to become one big resistor of 28, uh, 28 ohms and your thermistor which is 100 ohms okay 100 ohms okay not to forget your battery has 6 volts okay so what is the total resistance between this and your thermistor uh, you just combine this is just series circuit okay so i know that just add up okay it's about 128 ohms okay so the next thing i can find is the current that flows through your circuit okay so i want to find the current that's flowing through the circuit all right so just use r equal to v over i so your r is your total resistance of 128 your volt is just your total voltage okay and your i okay if you calculate you should get about okay, 0 0.04 six eight seven five ampere okay so now uh, so now i know that a uh, current of 0 0.046875 ampere is flowing through your circuit okay all right okay so let's go back to this uh this graph or uh, this diagram sorry okay uh yeah let me erase this okay so now uh, i know that okay this is six volts right okay and the current of 0 0.046875 ampere is flowing through okay then it reaches this junction right it will split right split into two okay so split into two split into two 
okay then flow through this light bulb then this flow through your resistor then recombine again at this junction and then flow through this uh, thermistor all right so the current that's flowing through this thermistor is 0. Point, okay 0. 0.046875 ampere okay all right okay so now ah so now i know that the current that's flowing through this thermistor is this one and i know that hey, the thermistor is 100 ohms okay so what i can calculate is the voltage across this thermistor now okay so if you use your i go to v over i all right so you can see uh i go v over i will use many times already all right i go v over i so this is 100 ohms uh your current is about 0. Point, sorry 0. Point, 0. 0.04 okay 6875 okay so you can calculate using okay so now uh i know that my voltage across this thermistor uh, just this thermistor is about 4.6875 volts uh, okay okay all right okay so now if i know that my potential difference uh, or your voltage across this thermistor is 4.6875 volts uh, what is the potential difference across this thing okay maybe i just change uh, what is the potential difference because uh, across this whole parallel thing okay and remember what i say the voltage across this r uh, and the light bulb is the same okay so if my battery has six volts okay and it give about 4.6875 volts to your thermistor what is left to give your uh this uh this whole thing uh, okay it's about six minus okay 4.6875 all right so what is left is about so your voltmeter will register a voltage of 1.3125 volts uh, all right okay so remember the potential or the voltage across here and here is 1.3125 volts yeah all right so the answer should be uh, 3sf all right so maybe i just write here b so your potential difference your voltmeter reading uh, is about 1.3125 volts or you can round off to 1.31 volts mm, okay so shouldn't be 3.5 volts uh, all right but uh but it's a good try uh, all right because it's quite difficult for part b all right okay now we go to part c uh, part c is what we call a qualitative question uh, there are two types of question in physics one is quantitative quantitative is calculation uh, quantitative right okay qualitative is explaining uh, all right okay so they say hey if the temperature uh, rises okay what do you think will happen to the brightness of your light bulb okay yeah all right so first of all let me uh, redraw the circuit okay so this 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 uh, just a very quick one light bulb here then the thermistor here okay all right so voltmeter i just don't draw it's okay all right so now what affects the brightness of a light bulb uh, i mean like what is the thing that causes it to be more bright or less bright okay so this one uh, when i was a student i uh, i didn't know until set four uh, okay so what causes the brightness uh, it's not the current uh, people thought that hey, the more current that fl flows through the light bulb the brighter it is actually it's not actually it's the potential difference v okay uh, so the higher the potential difference uh, the brighter it is mm. okay so why is that so uh, very simple okay let us recap what is potential difference okay pd okay pd is also volts uh. All right so pd uh, is the amount of uh, electrical energy okay electrical energy okay converted to non-electrical okay let me just write here 
energy okay when one coulomb of charge flows through the thing right flows through the device lah. through the device okay so the keyword here is electrical the amount of electrical energy converted to non electrical energy right so potential difference uh, tell us hey what is the amount of electrical energy converted to non electrical energy so basically uh, all right so this tells us uh, if my potential difference is high means that more electrical energy is converted to non electrical energy in this case is the brightness okay for light bulb uh, the electrical energy is converted to light okay of course there's some heat energy la, but more mostly it's light energy all right light energy so if my uh, potential difference is higher okay means that hey more electrical energy is converted to light energy okay all right so okay so this is the thing that we need to uh, understand all right okay so now they say that hey my temperature increases to 100 degrees celsius so Okay, so let us take a look at the thermistor first. Okay, so thermistor, uh, my temperature increases. Okay, of course, I know that my resistance will decrease. Right? Okay, resistance will decrease. And we know that, hey, since R is directly proportional to your potential difference or your voltage, uh, if your R decreases, your voltage also decreases. right? So here, voltage decreases. Okay. Uh, so now I know that hey, the potential difference across my thermistor will decrease. Okay, so initially maybe is here is 4 volts. Uh, now become 3 or 2 volts already. Okay, so here will, be, will decrease in potential difference. Okay, so remember when, when we are doing with circuit. Uh, okay. okay, so let uh, I distribute less voltage to your thermistor. So now... Uh, the potential difference across here must increase okay potential difference across here must increase all right since parallel circuit uh, the potential difference is the same right uh, so here the potential difference also increases uh, so i can conclude that my light bulb become brighter because potential difference across my light bulb uh, increases uh, not current uh, uh, not current all right potential difference across the light bulb increases Right, so PD across bulb increases. Okay, hence it's become brighter. Hence brighter. Okay, yeah. So that's for the question that you sent me la. Alright, uh yeah, so any uh any more like uh you know question you can ask me also. Okay, I try to answer them as soon as possible. Alright, thank you.